Anna Rabinova, a violinist in the New York Philharmonic, and this is what is in my case. This is my second violin, beautiful violin made by unknown maker from Tyrol in 19th century. I play on this violin open air concerts in the parks, Bale residency concerts, and Shanghai residency concerts. I've had this violin since I was a high school student and I like it very much. The other violin that I also have is my first violin that is made by um, Italian maker Carlo Ferdinando Landolfi in 18th century. My first violin is my main violin that I use for most of my performances with the New York Philharmonic, recitals, and chamber concerts. The strings that I use on my um, second violin, Tyrolean violin, are Eva Pirazzi, and I love them very much. They're very brilliant, very durable, have a very powerful tone and warm tone. Other kind of strings that I use are vision strings that are also very durable and stay in tune for a long and I enjoy them very much. My bow, as you can see here, is um, made from old Pernambuco wood and it's made also by a very famous French bow maker, Lemmy, in 19th century. It's a very, very well balanced bow that also is easy to make the sound with, which is very, very unique qualities to have in one bow. And with absolute ease, yeah? And it can jump as light as I played just now, or uh, it can be much, much heavier, for example, so I can play much louder. I do use shoulder rest on my violin and I find it very convenient. It's a Kuhn model, collapsible Kuhn model of shoulder rest that I've been using for many years. As well as my chin rest, as you can see, it's a Guarneri model of chin rest uh, made from ebony and it fits me really well and I think it's very important what kind of chin rests you have uh, because chin rests have to be fitted to your not only chin but to the weight of your head so you kind of trying to maintain certain balance and um, your posture and everything depends on what kind of chin rest you actually have and how comfortable you are holding your violin. I do like my case very much. It's BAM case that uh, is made in France and I do usually carry this case with me whenever I travel. I do also have the case that I showed you today. Um, this is the case that I've had for many years and I do take my violin on short distances. It's not as strong, as, a, as protective as the BAM case, but it actually is very good case as well. It's better to go with your teacher if you're just starting to play or been playing for only a few years, um, to go to the violin shop and actually find something that you like there and see if your teacher agrees with you and hopefully if this is the case then maybe if it's on an expensive side in the shop maybe you can get it somewhere else or 
you can try to find a way to get something like that. Practice your etudes, skills, and exercises every day. And to practice at least one hour and a half, two hours. But if you have only one hour, then still practice scales, etudes, and exercises. This is the best way to become better players. I'm Anna Rabinova of the New York Philharmonic, and this was What is in My Case. <laughs>